beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you're a recent subscriber welcome back if you're first time viewer welcome cakes on this channel we focus on skincare lifestyle and fashion come on guys and i'm so excited to record this video you don't know you don't understand so i started my 2020 new decade skincare journey today it's the middle middle of the year so i just thought let me just record an update video and just talk about my journey my experience and what i've learned along the way so i started using acid the ordinary products has a million products and they all have this name that i was not familiar with i was a girl who always had acne let me say adult, adult acne was the worst of it and it left me with scars and black spots but 2017 i tackled it because i was more conscious and i was more informed of about my skin so every decision that i take took i did really benefit from it i started taking supplements as well that that is why my skin got better and i kept a clear skin until january this year when i changed my skincare and my issue was breakouts i have hormonal acne and i have scarring from the breakouts and i just wanted to clear my skin and make it look better although at the time in general my skin was not bad it was not i mean before i started using um acids on my face it was not bad it was it was okay but i wanted to take it to a new level and uh, because the struggle first was pimples and breakouts and i got rid of them because i started using black soap i started using gadgets and the information as well then i went on the cult beauty and i looked on site i was reading a lot of articles look watching a lot of videos into regards of uh, the ordinary products people who had similar issues as i did so that i have a bit of an idea what to, to where to go and i also started to learn more about um, what the final result you should get from the particular asset and as january came i was just like her okay let me i was excited let me not lie i was excited hell <laughs> but my skin was going through the most it was i don't know if it was because of the products were working because i got the peeling solution i got the niacinamide or niacinamide and then i got lactic acid and rosehip oil skin so gonna say lay two weeks into me and I wanted to stop, but I kept on remembering this is just not only for me, this is also for my new baby, which is my YouTube channel. I was just focused. I don't want to lie. In the beginning, I was not really sure. I just chose the products that I think will go for me and slowly introducing acids into my skincare routine. And March, I did see a huge difference. I did still have a couple of breakouts but it was not as bad as january i did a review if you want to go please check it out the ordinary review and you'll see the difference between then and now i don't have any pimples on my skin the only thing that's left is scarring and a bit of black spots obviously i tried to not pop pimples pella i forgot how it felt how it felt like to have pimples on my face so i always had to constantly remember that don't touch your face and with this whole lockdown thing to be honest it also helped me not to touch my face so i was kind of like grateful and i constantly washed my hands so my hands were always clean another bash um i think before lockdown little thank god Your Sucks was just crazy this time around. The first time I did not pay sucks, I was like, hey, no customs on a mood, you know. But the second time around, they were like, yo, girl, pay five clip. But I had to pay 500 brands. I'm gonna re I'm gonna introduce whatever that I added to my package. The month of I was still using the same products that you know, like the peeling solution is 
finito now. It's done. Thing that I learned about my skin is that I do not only have acne prone dry skin, I also have a bit of sensitive skin. My mom does have um, sensitive skin to a point that it, 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 it's almost, it has a bit of eczema. My brother has total eczema. So Miguel found out that she has a bit of sensitivity. I learned the hard way that I should not put acids like apply them on my neck as well like i usually do whatever that i do on my face i also apply on my neck i stopped doing that because my neck as you know that i have a chubby neck that i got from my grandmother <laughs> i would have break out like crazy so i knew that okay i have a reaction don't apply it on your neck and also don't apply too many things on your face my skin would turn red and i would have bumps and rashes and i was just like what's happening but because i was doing too much on my face so i learned that whenever i'm using the bha and the bha and ha peeling solution i should not use lactic acid i should rather use i used vitamin e oil and shea butter and even after a couple of days i did not apply the lactic acid i just stopped and maybe after three days that's when i would apply it at night whenever i washed my face as the niacinamide don't introduce it like a bang 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 you just end with it introduce it slowly and your skin will get used to it i used to apply it every single day because that's what they said but girl my skin was just saying no lactic acid as well it was sometimes too heavy on my skin as i said i had a bit of sensitivity to it i would react so i would not apply it every night and rose hip oil as well because it's so expensive i was also like using a tad bit of it with my other oils but rose hip oil is amazing for scarring it's an amazing healing oil so please include it or those who also need to use anti-aging products if you're over 21 you should start incorporating anti-aging products into your skincare routine products but i'm gonna share the ones that i'm gonna introduce today which i used to my to my journey until today Silasic acid is for acne prone and oily skin small molecules that it's able to penetrate into your skin and clean up all the gunk in the pore why you should incorporate this this helped me a lot i was almost that when i got the package i was like yeah don't take an agana but come on even the other bottles these ones are this actually the same quantities i did not apply a lot of product that's what i learned um, my first batch was a trial and error. It did not burn. It was sticky in consistency. I applied it only in the morning, and also I did not apply it, apply it every single day because I learned that my skin does react to acids. So I read about which acids to use. It made my next purchase much better. And the reason why I used the Inky List. It was because the silicic acid from the ordinary was finished uh, a brand that is similar the inky list is actually much better a bit tad more better than the ordinary so i was like oh. i still have products here i'm trying not to use as much as now the cold beauty is not shipping to south africa so i have to push as much product until i think december glycolic acid to the mix and the reason why i also used the the inky list it was because the glycolic acid by the ordinary which is much bigger than this one was finished like quite harsh on skin but it's amazing for acne prone skin as well and oily skin and at first i was using a cotton pad like i usually do when i tone my face but i was like yo let me use the putting the product in your hands a few drops and then applying it and patting it onto your skin that's what i did um i i believe in using the cotton pad but because of the whole situation now corona and things being not shipped here in south africa i had to think of an easier way i just thought about that my skin my dead skin will just peel off 
I'm using acid so I don't have to be as harsh to my skin by using a, a cotton wool which I absolutely love.